When I started with TypeScript, the majority of the struggle I had is where to write the TypeScript code and see it running. On browser, it won't run because browser understands JavaScript, not TypeScript. So I cannot open the console and start writing the TypeScript code expecting that it will give me output. Then I was searching for some playground. TypeScript playground is a well-known website where you can go, start exploring the example that are given out of the box and can start writing your own examples by tweaking things. That's great, but as a newbie and as a person who was just starting up, I found it way complex. Then I thought, okay, why not building my own sandbox in a way that the bare minimal stuff that I need to get started with my TypeScript project, I will just create it ground up and incrementally start putting things into it so that same environment and infrastructure I can make use of to learn TypeScript completely. And that's when I just took VS Code, some of the commands, getting things together and with a bit of tweaking because I had a struggle of finding out why tsconfig.json was giving certain error. Then I finally could set up my TypeScript sandbox and use that for a longer, longer time to write my TypeScript code. So that setup become the go-to factor for me for bootstrapping any TypeScript project. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to get started with your TypeScript project. You can just run through few basic commands and few tweaks here and there to make sure that you are fully with TypeScript development. So let's go, let's learn. But if you're coming to this video without watching the last one from the series, I think you should watch that to get your perspective clear about TypeScript. Should you use it or you should not use it? So welcome again, folks, to TypeScript channel and to the playlist TypeScript with TypeScript. So I assume that you have a few things installed. First of all, you have a command prompt and you have Node.js installed. So if you don't have Node.js, download and install Node.js based on what's your operating system. Now, once you have installed Node.js, you can quickly check whether the node has been installed correctly with node space switch v this command and it's gonna show you that the version of the node that you're using. In case you find an error, please fix that. All right, so after this, you have to make sure that you have VS Code installed and it's up and running. So first thing to get started, let me start with creating a directory. I'll say make directory ts setup. Then I'll get into this directory called ts setup. And here I am gonna initialize a node project. So for that, what you have to do call npm init. And this is gonna ask you a few questions. Most of the cases just go with the default, for example, project name. Yeah, I'm fine with that version. Uh, type script setup project. That's fine, that's fine. If you have a Git repository where you are planning to push this code, you can give the repository link. I'll give this as TS, TypeScript, etc. Author, I'll put my name. You can put yours. License, MIT. That's it. Your setup is done. Now, if I do ls, I'm going to find a package.json file. That's great. Now, here, I have to start installing a few stuff. The first thing that I have to install TypeScript itself. So let's go ahead and install TypeScript. I am using yarn is another package manager tool on top of node. So you have node, yarn, pnpm, burn and things like that. I'm using yarn. If you're using node alone with npm tool, you can use the command call npm install typescript hyphen hyphen save dev. It means you are saying that I'm installing typescript as a dev dependency, not the direct dependency. As I'm using yarn, I'll be using the command yarn add hyphen hyphen dev TypeScript. TypeScript is installed. The next thing that I'm going to do is to import this particular folder ts hyphen setup into my VS code. So that's my VS code where I have this package of JSON that just now created. If I open this up, I will see TypeScript under dev dependencies. Great. So one thing we need to understand, once we write TypeScript, the TypeScript needs to be transformed and compiled to JavaScript. So that means somebody should be there in between who will compile this TypeScript code that I'll be writing in a minute and create a JavaScript out of it so that that JavaScript can run on browser. As I have installed TypeScript, I have the TypeScript support, but now I have to make use of something called a TypeScript compiler. In short term, it is called TSC. So as I have installed Node, NPM is coming with that. Along with the NPM, there is another package that I can use is called NPX. So I'm going to use NPX to initialize this TypeScript project using TypeScript compiler. Again, from my command prompt, I'm going to write NPX. The command is NPX, not NPM, TSC. 
and then I'm going to do hyphen hyphen in it. As you see, as an output message, the only thing that this guy has done is created something called a tsconfig.json file. Possibly the thing that every developer who is new to TypeScript is very scared of, tsconfig.json file. We will also see certain things that it will give us as a problem and we'll be solving them. But in future videos, we'll get deep into it, understanding everything about tsconfig.json file and all its parameters. I won't say all, almost all of its parameters. All right, so let's go back to VS Code. I get to see this tsconfig.json file that has been created over here. That's great. It has a lot of stuff, a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff, you know, but all the stuffs are commented, most of the things. There are a few things which are not commented, which are mandatory, absolutely mandatory for you to run the project. So let's start writing about our first TypeScript code. What say we have the infrastructure ready. Usually we should be keeping all our source code into a folder called SRC with that norm i am creating a folder called ssc and in that let me start with a new file called greeting.ts the extension for typescript is ts so it's greeting.ts and inside greeting.ts what i'm going to do i'm going to write a simple function using typescript okay so function if you know javascript already you will relate a lot with this function but there will be a small typescript flavor to it i'll explain that so say greeting and it takes a message this is the beauty of vs code and typescript the moment i write it's intelligence already telling me that message is gonna be a string i can just tab and I can say, okay, message, I accept it as a string. So this is TypeScript. If it is JavaScript, you would have left it just like message without telling what's the type of the message. In case of TypeScript, I'm explicitly telling the type of the message is gonna be string. Other than string, the say greeting function is not going to accept anything else as a parameter. Awesome. So now console.log as usual will say dollar message is the greeting some message basically so now as i have the function the next thing that i can do i will create a greeting and i'll say hello then i can do say greeting and pass this greeting great like this so this much code is good right now the next thing that can come in my mind is like how am i going to run this so first thing is like this is a typescript file so i have to compile this to a javascript file for that, I can use npx tsc or as I've installed TypeScript, the tsc command is by default there with me. I can use either way and try to compile this file. So let me open a terminal over here itself so that in the VS code itself, I can show you. I don't have to go out for the external terminal and I will go to src directory. Here, I will do tsc, the command, either npx tsc or tsc and then try to grip the file name that I want to compile. So see this greeting.ts has been compiled to a new file called greeting.js now this is a output javascript you don't have to really understand this too much because this is just the output thing that you are going to run on your browser or in your application your focus is of course this typescript file now the beauty of it if i go to tsconfig.json file just pulling this one down and do any modification to this like i'll take out this comma and put back this comma just touching this file now suddenly i am getting an error and if I mouse over, the error says cannot write file because it would overwrite input file TS, TypeScript file. What does this mean? So this is where as a newbie to TypeScript, you would start wondering what is ha what exactly happening around you. The meaning of this error is you have a TS file over here and in the same directory, you have the generated JavaScript file. Now you should be keeping your generated output file in a different file altogether. So it means that you can create a file called say dist or build or whatever it is and the compile output of this TypeScript file should go to that particular folder so that you don't face this error. Now how do you do that? So for that again in the tsconfig.json file you have to search something called outdir. So do you see this outdir over here? Now this is commented you can uncomment it back and give a particular folder name where you want the output to go. So for example, the folder name that I'll provide is called dist. So I want now TypeScript compiler to create a folder called dist and inside that dist, this greeting.js file should get. So after this change, you would feel that, okay, let me type it again, tsc, and then give me a file name greeting.ts. So I expect that there will be a directory called dist created and the Compile JavaScript file will be inside that particular directory, isn't it? 
Now, once you press enter, with all your surprises, you see nothing like that happened. <laughs> you don't have the disk directory. The JS file got created as it is like before. So you already have that error that you had. You'll be scratching your head. Then you will figure it out hard way. But with this video, maybe a simpler way that once you give a particular file name along with the TSC flag, this is not going to honor this out directory flag at all. It is going to create the output file in the same level of the input TypeScript file. The same thing is available in the documentation as well. Now, if you have to generate this one into a folder, at that time, what you have to do is just type TSC or NPX TSC. Don't mention the input TypeScript file name for which you want to generate a compiled file. A bit weird, but that's how things works. So I'm going to delete this generated JS file once more. And then I'm going to use only the TSC command. There is no input field. So TSC, the moment I use, do you see? Now the dist folder has been created. Now if I go inside dist, I go to greeting.js, I see a properly formed JavaScript file. The idea over here is the lesson that we have learned over here is like whenever you're using, you know, TSC for compiling your stuff, make sure that you don't have to really, you know, give the pinpointed file name that you want to compile, just run it with TSC. Okay, so we have now created our first compiled JavaScript file from the TypeScript file. It's time to run that, isn't it? Node dot dot slash dist greeting dot js. Enter. I can see hello is the greeting. That is the console log. That's exactly the thing I have written over here. Passing hello. Hello is the greeting. That's the that's the output I am expecting to be logged in the console. So when you want to execute your TypeScript work, you first compile into JavaScript like this and then point to that particular compiled file, JavaScript file, use the node command to run this one. Or if you want to run it with your browser, you can create an index.html file, then this particular JS you can import into this index file and then can run. Both ways it works. So I hope this is clear. Now let us create one more TypeScript file. The next one we're going to create is called calculation.ts. So I'll short it out, calc ts and here i'll be creating a function called say summation sum of two number basically and here i'll take a as a number b as a number intelligence is already telling me so this is the type of the inputs a as number b as number and the return type from this particular function is also a number because we are performing an arithmetic operation so then return a plus b very simple vs code intelligence for typescript is really really awesome so now i'm going to do console.log sum of two one comma two also another thing console.log sum of two one and minus one from command prompt you come and do tsc the moment you do tsc inside dist you have calc.js also now correct and then Coming here, you can just do node inside your dist folder. You have calc.js. You have the output. Isn't it great? Another small thing to pinpoint over here is like so far, I was actually running this TSC command from the src folder like this. Now, this is great because I'm inside src and inside src, all my TypeScript files are there. But as I am not specifying a particular target file to compile, you can actually run it from anywhere from your project. So you can come back, delete this dist folder, and this is the root of your folder, ts-setup. From here also, you can run tsc, and that's going to generate same dist folder. And now you can go and test out the same thing. It works. Let me provide one more tips or one more error resolution that you may need when you're getting started with TypeScript for the first time. So sometime when you compile your TypeScript code, and now I'm compiling, and if I open this calc.ts file, do you see an error? The error says duplicate function implementation. So if you face error like this, it's only because TypeScript is assuming that each of these input files are like modules, that if it has to be a JavaScript module, you, there should be an import or export, right? Or there should be async keyword at the top. Now, this particular file doesn't have any export command because we are not exporting anything from here. But still, this error comes. Now, if you have to tackle this error, what you have to do, the fix for it, is to write an export and make it an empty export. That's it. This is the fix. So if you get this error sometime, you have to just do this. And then once you compile it again, there is no error at all. Now, if I go to dist and go to this calc.js, I will see 
that there is an extra line got added for this exports as well in the output js file which you really don't have to bother about but this is just for the educational purpose so this is another error you might encounter and if you encounter you have to do this now more about this modules more about this export and import i'll cover in the future advanced video of TypeScript. so i hope the initial setup that whatever you got with it that's enough for you to get started and you can now start adding any TypeScript code inside your SRC folder, compile it, run it, and generate the output. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of stuff actually exist. So in the next video, what we are going to do, we are going to take a deep dive inside types. Try to do a lot of hands-on examples, build things, and try to see how the output happens. And we are going to use the same infrastructure that we have created. If you would like to get the same infrastructure to get started, this is there in the GitHub. The link of that is there in the description of this video. You can just fork it or clone it and kind of start using that. So if you like this video, please put a like. If you have any questions, put a comment. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not, because I'm going to bring a lot of great content for you. Thank you very much. Take a great care of yourself.